a very good morning so today we'll go on uh, problems uh, on single plate clutches before we want to start these problems uh, let us uh, look out uh, what are the formulas uh, we need to solve the problems on single plate clutch so now these equations and uh, data are from design data handbook that is what uh, Mahadevan and Balaguret D. So reference is uh, uh, reference edition is a uh, fourth edition. So now these equations are related to the single plate clutch as well as multi plate clutch. So now N dash indicates uh, it is a number of pairs of a friction surfaces. Uh, as you seen uh, derivations for calculation of a uh, torque uh, gone for two theories one is what uniform pressure theory that is what uniform pressure distribution another one is a uh, uniform wear now uniform pressure distribution so you can calculate axial pressure that is what AP uh, FAP is 1 by 4 pi d naught square minus di square is what equation number 13.9 so if you want to calculate one pair of friction uh, that is torque transmitted by one pair of friction surfaces you can directly calculate 1 by 2 mu into FAP uh, that is what of uh, axial force as well as mean diameter uh, in uh, pressure distribution okay Suppose if you have a number of pairs of friction surfaces, then you go for using equation 1 by 2 mu and dash FAP DMP. Okay, you will get it as a pi by 12 mu and dash P d naught cube minus di cube you can use this equation or you can calculate the mean diameter then you can substitute here now mu is the coefficient of friction uh, based on materials you can select from table number 13.4 okay. we'll see table number 13.4 in the next slide next uh, according to uniform here the axial force that is what you have aw it is 1 by 2 pi p max di in bracket d naught minus di now torque transmitted by one pair of friction surfaces it is the same 1 by 2 ft dmw or 1 by 2 mu fa w okay. so next torque transmitted by n dash pairs of friction surfaces it is what 1 by 2 mu n dash f a w equal to d m w okay. so now here w means for wear theory and p represents for uh, in for pressure theory so now friction torque uh, t f equal to beta into design torque so beta is an engagement factor so based on different applications you can select value here now let us look out uh, the friction materials for clutches and their coefficient of uh, friction in conditions that is what in wet condition as well as in dry condition and their operating temperatures and their maximum pressures and what is the relative cost as well as uh, the suitable uh, suitability of the materials so now if the contacting surfaces are uh, cost branch, cast iron, we can go for 0 0.05 okay, as coefficient of friction. And similarly, you can uh, select any combination of uh, materials here. So the varying material normally is of uh, cork as well as uh, asbestos. Okay, as well as asbestos. Okay. So if the data are not provided, you can easily or you can assume the data are referring this table number 13.4. Okay. Let us go for a problem.
a single plate clutch single plate friction clutch of both sides effective has 0.3 meter outer diameter and Point one six meter inner diameter. Now the coefficient of friction. Zero point two and it runs at a thousand RPM. Find the power transmitted for uniform wear and uniform pressure cases if the allowable maximum pressure is zero point eight megapascal. Sorry, zero point zero eight megapascal. So let's notify first given data. So D naught is given. It is how much? 0.3 meter. D I is given. 0.16 meter. Okay. And the coefficient of friction mu small f equal to 0.2. And the speed is given. Let us assume speed N A as a hundred RPM, sorry thousand RPM, okay. and allowable maximum pressure P max is zero point zero eight megapascal. Now you need to calculate what is the power based on pressure distribution as well as power based on wear distribution. 
you know, just to observe the given data, both sides are effective. A single plate friction clutch of both sides has an effective. Okay? That means n dash equal to 2 here. How is n dash equal to 2? Now, if you consider this as a driving disc, this is the clutch plate and this is the driven plate. Now, this is what a uh, driving member, this is the driven member. Now this is a clutch plate, this is what a clutch plate, now this is a clutch plate, here the surface on both side, on right hand side as well as the left hand side is the effective, that means it is going to make a contact on driving driven disc, okay driven disc as well as it is going to make a contact on driving disc also now how many pairs you are going to get here you got a one pair okay here you got an under pair total n dash equal to how much two n dash equal to So now let us start a uh, solution. So what they ask? They ask to calculate the power. To calculate power, what is the relation? It is what two pi n t by sixty into thousand. It will give the power in kilowatt. Now for calculation of power, what is unknown parameter here? T is the unknown parameter. T is the unknown parameter. Now you need to calculate T in both cases. T in both cases. That is what uh, based on uniform pressure and uniform wear okay. so let us uh, go for first case there is what uh, uniform pressure okay. uniform pressure you notify the formula from design data and book to calculate first axial force so now FAP from data and book that is what equation number 13 point 9A okay. so if calculate first uh, the axial force refer design data and book notify equation number 13.9a 13.9a so this is what FAP equal to 5 by 4 into P into DO square into di square now let us substitute pi into 0 0.08 divided by 4 you go for uh, diameters in terms of mm here if you simplify this one you are going to get a f a f equal to 446.37 newton
So once you go to the value of uh, ex, uh, <coughs> axial force, next you calculate the mean diameter. Mean diameter for uh, uniform pressure distribution. This is what DMP. You can refer from data and book. That is what equation number. Uh, you have a equation exactly below equation number 13.9 C. Now DMP equal to 2 by 3 d naught cube minus d i cube d naught square minus d i square okay. now substitute values calculate mean diameter you are going to get it 237.2 mm okay. in terms of meter it is what 0 0.237 meter Now, frictional torque transmitted by frictional torque. Now, referring to uh, data and book, this is what equation number 13.9c. Torque transmitted by N dash pairs of friction surfaces. So refer to our done book notify equation number thirteen point nine C. Now T equal to 1 by 2 mu n dash into FAP into DMP. Now you know all values mu is 0.2 n dash is 2 you got in 437 point sorry 446.2 as uh, axial load and mean diameter as in point two three seven meter. Now we will get torque T equal to one ninety one point eight zero Newton meter. Suppose if you substitute value of dm in terms of mm, you are going to get a torque value in Newton mm. If you substitute it in meter, if you substitute dm, in meter you are going to get uh, newton meter here if you substitute dm p in mm you are going to get a newton mm so now let us substitute in power equation so that is what power p equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 into 1000 2 pi speed is 1000 rpm now you got a torque 191.80 divided by 60 into 1000. So P equal to approximately we are going to get a 20.1 kilowatt. So next we'll go for uh, power calculations uh, based on wear distribution 
Angar is what a uniform wear. Theory. Now first we calculate uh, the axial force. Axial force. Now refer design data and book. Notify equation number 13.90. So what is the equation? FAW equal to 1 by 2 pi into P max okay. in bracket. Over here it has to be di d naught minus di. I will substitute. So di is how much? It is 160 mm. d naught is 300 mm minus 160 mm. We are going to get it 2815.2 Newton. Okay. Now this is what XL force in the uh, uniform wear theory 2815.2 next you need to calculate the torque that is what torque transmitted by n dash pairs of friction surfaces now torque transmitted by n dash pairs of friction surfaces now refer design data and book notify equation number 13.9 yes yeah. this is what t equal to 1 by 2 mu n dash into f a w into d m w now d m w is what it is the mean diameter this is equal to d o plus d i divided by 2 ok now d o is uh, 300 plus d i is 160 divided by 2 you will get uh, 230 m mm. Or 0.23 meter. Now let us substitute in torque equation T equal to 1 by 2, maybe 0 0.2, P max is 0 0.08, now DI is 0.16 okay di is point uh, sorry now it is what uh, dm is 0.23 faw is 2800 15.2 if we calculate approximately torque t equal to 129.62 newton meter now we calculate p equal to you substitute in equation power p equal to 2 pi into divided by 60 into 1000 pi is n is a uh, thousand 290.62 divided by 60 into 1000 now p equal to 
13.56 kilowatt.